I'm Michelle Ivener. I will consider myself a seasoned agent, a seasoned real estate agent. This is something that I have done since 1983. I'm not going to consider myself a salesman. I'm going to consider myself um, someone who was looking for a learning experience for both me and for my buyer and seller. And by getting that learning experience, we make a relationship. In the end, I always want to have a friend. I know that people like to be liked, and I like to be liked. Um, I have been involved in the Sioux City community all the years that I've lived in this area. I'm not from here, I'm originally from Kansas City, but I did get married and graduated from Morningside College as a history teacher, which I did for a little while. I've been involved in my synagogue to the hilt. I have been a cantor in the synagogue for many, many, many years. I have a relationship with that. I have a big relationship with music. I have sung in some sort of a choir since I was eight years old and now sing with the Morningside University Master Chorale, uh, which I have been singing with for many, many years. I have always been involved when my children were little, so I was involved in PTA, I was the Girl Scout leader. Um, I did a lot of things so that I had quite a base when I started in real estate, and it certainly has helped. And I have also tend to say yes when asked to do things in the community. So I think that in real estate, everybody wants to win, right? The seller wants to win, the buyer wants to win, so we want a win-win situation. And nothing's going to happen unless both of them are happy. They're not going to sign the documents and they're not going to buy your house. So we have to have a little leeway there. So the most important thing, in my opinion, the most important thing in real estate, and probably everything, is communication. You have to have communica communication skills you have to be able to talk to each other. You have to know when the other person doesn't want to talk on that subject, how the person feels. You need to be an interviewer and you need to listen. You need to listen all the times that you're spending together with your buyers and your sellers and your community too. You know that when you are involved in real estate, it is the highest form of emotion. It ranks right up there with death and losing someone very important to you. So when you buy a house or you buy a building or you buy some farm, it's such a huge thing for most people. For some people, it's nothing. But for the majority of people, it is a big deal. And you must be able to communicate with everyone. The second most important thing, which probably is equal with the first, is honesty. You have to be honest. Uh, you can't tell lies. You can't communicate the untruths. You have to just say it. You know, it's terrible if you have termites, but you have termites. You have to tell them they have termites. You have to tell them a lot of things, and you have to be quiet about a lot of things, too. You have to listen. I consider every transaction that I do a baseball game. And when I meet you as the seller, we'll just use the seller right here, but the buyer, you can just transpose the buyer to the seller. The seller decides to sell his house. You write down on documents, I'm going to sell your house and you list it. Then you put it on the market and along comes Mr. Buyer. Mr. Buyer puts in an offer on your house. You accept it, you're on first base. You remember how long everybody takes to make a home run in baseball, to make the, the, the score go up by one run? You're on first. Now you don't get to second right away. You have to have inspections. If you pass them and you negotiate them out, you're on second base. Now you have to have it appraised by the bank, or maybe not by the bank, but often an appraiser comes out and looks at your house. If it passes and everything is agreed upon, you're on third base. It's still a long ways to home. To get home, you have to have all your title work, you have to have abstracts done. There's lots to do in the end. 
all has to go together perfectly and you get to walk across the finish line and you're made a home run. Don't cancel anything until you make the home run. It takes a while, but that's real estate. I think one of the reasons that I have been successful is because I know what change is. I sometimes don't like change. Technology has been very difficult for me, but I will tell you, you have to be able to change. And I didn't change my phone number. I'm a Century 21 agent since the very beginning. I didn't change my all my addresses, my email address, my my address here at the office, things that I could control not changing, I didn't change. Things that you have to change with, with the times I have changed, even though I did say it was hard. In closing, I'd like to tell you that the one thing I promise you is if you work with me and I work with you, we'll be friends. We'll be friends for a long, long time. I like people, I like to get to know them, and I know they like to get to know me too. Thank you.